Well, everyone's familiar with inflation. Prices are always on the rise. But not as common is deflation, which can be just as damaging to the economy. In this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, Mike Deneman, U.S. Bank Vice President and Senior Portfolio Manager, joins Business Courier Editor Rob Dahlmeier in the studio to tell us if deflation should be a concern. Gentlemen. Thanks, Peg. Thank you very much for being here. Good morning. So is deflation, uh, which is something, as Peg just mentioned, we don't hear too often, is it just the exact opposite of inflation? It is. Uh, so, you know, in a nutshell, we're all familiar with inflation. Prices go up over time. You know, pick anything, a candy bar, automobile, socks. Everything costs more today than it did 10 or 20 years ago. But that's actually the sign of a healthy economy. As demand increases over time, prices begin to rise. But then that also pushes production higher, which pushes wages higher. So you can see how that's a beneficial cycle for an economy. But what if the opposite were happening? What if the economy were contracting and demand were falling? that would push prices lower over time and that's what deflation is and it can be very harmful to an economy but uh, Mike I want to pay less for my socks uh, what's wrong with lower prices uh, right I mean it sounds like a pretty good deal hey everything's cheaper let's go shopping right yeah but uh, in fact you know it's it, in theory sounds pretty good but in practice actually again can be very harmful so it, it creates some some kind of bizarre incentives for consumers so counterintuitively consumers tend not to spend when deflation is going on mm. so you know think about it if you're in the market for a new car but prices have been falling over time you have no incentive to go out and buy that car today. Good point. You're going to wait till next month. You're going to wait till the month after that. So you don't shop. You stay at home. You save your money. That decreases demand. Uh, deflation can also hurt those of us that have debt. Uh, the way that deflation works, it can make it seem as if you're paying more in interest. So you know, your spending power has increased, but you feel like you're devoting more of that to the loan. So if you have a loan, that, that's not helping you get ahead. If you don't have a loan, why, why would you want one? So that decreases demand as well. So as all these things combine to drive down the demand, production starts to fall, factories and businesses lay people off, lower wages occur, people shop even less. So there's kind of this downward deflationary spiral, they call it, and it can take a, a bad economic situation and in fact make it even worse. Well, how worried should we be about it becoming worse? I mean, deflation uh, isn't something, as you just said, it's not something easily uh, gotten rid of exactly. because the worse it gets the worse it gets right how worried should we be well the, the good news is that for us here in the US deflation doesn't seem like it's in the offing uh, the economy is still expanding so that's good and there are areas of the economy where prices are falling gasoline prices for instance we talked about just last week are coming down but that's kind of an isolation that's not everything across the board uh, on the other hand, there are some major economies across the globe that are contracting. Europe, for example, uh, unemployment is very high. Uh, wages are stagnant or falling. We're seeing the consumer just simply not spending. So they have inflation right now that's actually very near zero. So the concern is that turns the corner and starts to fall. And like you said, once deflation kicks in, it's very tough to, uh, to eradicate. So uh, that doesn't harm us here directly at home. but. Europe, of course, is a very important trading partner for us. So everyone's very keen to see how this is going to play out because the ripple effect would certainly be felt. Right, and the world keeps getting smaller, and so just because they're an ocean away doesn't mean it's a, uh, it's, it's not a different planet anymore. It's exactly. going to affect us. Thanks very much yeah. for being here. Thanks, Rob.